What's going on everybody? The Germ here and welcome to Stu Leonard's here in Danbury, Connecticut, the world's largest dairy store. I love coming here. I've been coming here for years. I don't get here often, but I love coming here when I'm in the area. Let's go inside and check it out. As it says on this front, world's largest dairy store. Very cool store. I love coming in here. Setup kind of goofy. There's got lots of goofy things in the store. And when you go in, it's basically, it's a maze. If you've ever been in an Ikea stores, you know what I mean. And I love this right here, our policy. Rule number one, the customer is always right. Rule number two, if the customer is ever wrong, reread rule number one, Stu Leonard. Awesome. What do you guys say we go inside and check out this wonderful store? All kinds of stuff, normal grocery store. Right when you walk in, look at this, meats are ready. These look awesome. Blue cheese and parsley burgers. Man, if I wasn't so far away from home, I'd probably grab these right here. Welcome to Danbury. We got the bakery in here. And let me know in the comments below if you guys have been to Stu Leonard's before. Oh, look at this. Look at this cheesecake right here, man. Oh, that's a good deal. I feel like 13 bucks. Mmm. Now their big thing in here is all the stuff here in the stores made in store. A lot of grocery stores do that stuff with like deli stuff and stuff like that, but these guys make mozzarella cheese, milk. It's incredible. Here's what I'm after right here. Mozzarella cheese. Oh my God. It's been a long time since I bought it. I remember when these were like six bucks a piece. <laughs> Look at that steam coming off there. I can't wait to have this. This is awesome. Do a little tomatoes, mozzarella, some balsamic. It's so good. Maybe a little basil. What do you guys think? Can you tell I'm Italian? Looks like a circus in here. <laughs> These guys are known for their uh, fresh produce, fresh meat. Oh, uh, there we got some crazy going on. We gotta find it. We gotta find it. It's fresh and yummy, we'll fill your tummy, and put you in a happy mood. So this is what makes these stores kind of wacky. They got a bunch of these buttons all around the stores, and uh, you can make different things happen. And there's a little girl that's, uh, that is pressing the button over there. I'm going to go ahead and press this button over here. There you go. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous, I know. <laughs> but... It's kind of a staple of their company, and it's real. I, I think it's kind of cute and charming. It makes the store very unique. There are lots and lots of apples. I love the way they display things, but look at this. Look at the giant apple hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like on top. Does it actually have the other side of the stem? Were they that detailed? I bet you they were. Yes, the whole store is just like this. <laughs> I would love to know in the comments, guys, if you guys have been to a Stu Leonard's. They have some new ones since I've been here. The avocado is brand new, and I don't remember ever seeing what I'm about to show you. There is now a uh, cow hanging from the ceiling <laughs> upside down. It is a goofy store. Love it. I wish I wasn't so far from home because I would probably be buying some of this. I'm tempted to buy it anyway. I'm an hour away. I guess that's not terrible, right? That would probably make it. Some beef kebabs or maybe some chicken kebabs. Now this one here used to be Mickey Mouse, but they changed it to their own store mascot, which is Stewie the Duck. Looks like they have a lot of uh, prepared stuff too. These guys do a good job with making this stuff. And I'm gonna kind of give you guys an idea of walking around in the store here. Because one of the things they don't do 
is they don't do aisles. It's basically a maze. You have to go through the whole entire store. So like I said, if you've ever been in an Ikea store, it's basically the same thing. And look at this, Ripley's, believe it or not, Stu Leonard sells more milk than any other single store in the world. That's crazy. I don't normally do videos at the grocery store, but this Rayo sauce, if you guys ever had this, it is absolutely delicious. Try this out, it is so good. I recommend the marinara. Amazing. Actually, you know what? Also, the tomato basil. <laughs> now, of course, they say real Italians don't call it sauce at all. They call it gravy. I, I didn't grow up calling it gravy. Let me know, is tomato sauce, is it sauce or gravy? What do you guys call it? Gravy, is it, for me, is the stuff you put on turkey. All right, we are continuing through the store here. Oh, it's a Shark Tank item. Oh, that's cool. I guess these were featured on Shark Tank. Let's give it a shot. Salt and vinegar. There is Stu the Duck. The only button to press. You gotta press it, right? Oh boy. Stewie the Duck teaching water safety, and you could buy his very own Stewie the Duck crackers or your very own Stewie the Duck. This is brand new. Now, this just came out. These actually do something. You push them. Let's see if we get one of these to work. Press me, I sing. I'm trying. <laughs> What am I supposed to press? He's not singing. Oh, <laughs> let's press the spot that says press here. Only duck that sings from his... <laughs> oh, it smells like seafood. Oh, we got the, the chickens. Is there a button for the chickens? Oh, they're already, they're talking already. You can't hear them. The volume is a little low. I can hear Whitney Houston over them. They also have Clover the cow. Let's see what Clover does. They have a rope here that you have to pull. Let's see what Clover does here. Hello, Clover. Did I not pull her enough? You can buy your very own Clover the Cloud plushie. There's something I didn't know still existed. Is this just a seasonal item? Blueberry, Count Chocola, and Frankenberry. Which one is most nostalgic to you? More goofy stuff up here. Definitely keeps the kids entertained. You gotta give them that when shopping in the store. And look at this, the Mario cookies. These are like a Walmart exclusive for like a day. <laughs> now they're all over the place. Be gone before you know it. Another thing they make here, their own rice cakes. These are cool. Pop down. All right, let's see. That's cool. All automated. Got to get a bag of kettle corn. See, this is killing me, man. I was doing so good. <laughs> I just came in here for one thing. Let's grab one of these. Oh, I'm running out of fingers. I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> 
Come on, guys. What store do you guys know that has hot nuts like this? That is awesome. They've got a chicken here above the eggs. I was looking for the button. I had trouble at first, but I think I got it. It's right over here. All right, let's go ahead and press the button. All right, there she goes. Apparently the chicken <laughs> sings Old MacDonald had a farm. Henrietta Hen is her name. She actually has a name. We are at the end of the maze. This is the prepared food section. This stuff, by the way, is absolutely delicious. If you guys are ever in one of these stores, lots of good stuff. Everything from wonton uh, soup, they do the Asian stuff. They got Italian. Pizzas. They got sushi, Japanese. And it's not bad. More than, there's the sushi. All made in store fresh. Ooh, spring rolls, those are good. This is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. And you don't, you, you don't get a lot because you end up buying these items that are like super expensive because you only get like, you know, I get like all the good stuff. Like I want mozzarella, I want the uh, kebabs, I got the popcorn, I got spring rolls. This is terrible. <laughs> it's so good though. Oh God, the Cokes buy one, get one free. How am I gonna, I have no more Hanes to carry. Why can't they just be a dollar each? They're killing me. I have no more Hanes to carry anything. I don't want to put it in my pocket and then think I'm stealing something. It's gotten worse. It's gotten worse. <laughs> I can't. And then there's candy over here. They're, you know, hopefully the candy's really expensive so I don't buy anything. I, I don't want to come across anything else because I can't carry anything else. I almost lost a can of Coke. And they're selling all their mascots here. They're all mixed together. We got the duck. We got a Chiquita banana thing. Where's Clover the cow? No Clover the cow? Oh, they do an avocado too. They do an avocado. That is awesome. So cute. We made it out of Stu Leonard's. Went in for mozzarella. You guys ever do that? You go to the grocery store for like one thing and then you end up with a whole cart full of stuff or handful <laughs> of things. That's what just happened to me. I went in there and ended up spending somehow $45. I don't know how that happened. I was only supposed to spend $10 on mozzarella, but that's the marketing strategy, which it works of Stu Leonard's and it works to make you walk through the whole entire store and just randomly buy things that you weren't gonna buy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Got all my purchases inside the vehicle and I want to show you guys this. I happen to park underneath this tree and I don't know if I can find one, but I, yeah, there's one. I parked underneath a pear tree. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's pears. Oh, I just kicked one. I just felt one. There's pears. You don't see those every day in a grocery store parking lot.